The Bugatti Car Company was the pioneer in luxury, speed and beauty cars. Founded by Ettore Arco Isidoro Bugatti, he used his degree in arts and sculpture to build and engineer the first luxury cars. Let's take a look at how he made Bugatti a brand. It's a pretty interesting story, so make sure you strap in and watch right till the end. Ettore first realized his love for cars when at 14, he modified a motor tricycle he was given as a gift. His father realized his boy had potential and decided he should be given an apprenticeship. By 1898, Ettore was working at Prenetti and Stucchi, a Milanese company that manufactured quadratic cycles. Ettore never had a formal engineering degree, but he had a creative mind and was quick at learning. After building his first tricycle, he soon moved on to building cars. His first automobile was called the Bugatti Type 2. It could run 10 km per hour. The car was a bit and won him an award at the Milan Trade Fair. His design also caught the eye of Baron Adrian de Turkheim, who offered Bugatti the opportunity to come and design automobiles at his Lorraine Dietrich car factory in Niederbronn. Ettore flourished at Lorraine Dietrich, and by 1904 he helped build the Type 34 and the Type 567, identified at the time with the name de Dietrich License Bugatti. And although the car manufacturer sold 100 Bugatti models, the factory closed down and Ettore was forced to look for opportunities elsewhere. As luck would have it, Bugatti and his friend Emile Matisse paired up, became business partners and started their own factory near Strasbourg. Two years later, however, Ettore broke up the partnership and set up a research center at Ilkrich Grafenstaden, now a suburb on the south side of Strasbourg. He produced several prototypes, collaborating closely with the Cologne-based Dutz company. Ettore prospered at Dutz, and by 1907 he was appointed director or directeur de fabrication. Here he designed the Type 89. While employed at Dutz, Bugatti built the Type 10 in the basement of his home. In 1913, Bugatti also designed a small car for Peugeot, the Type 19 Bebe. Bugatti established his automobile company, Automobile e Bugatti, in 1909 in the then German town of Molsheim in the Alsace region of what is now France. The maker was known for some of the fastest, most luxurious and technologically advanced road cars of its day. Exceptional engineering led to success in early Grand Prix motor racing, with a Bugatti being driven to victory in the first Monaco Grand Prix. Unfortunately, the First World War changed everything for Ettore as he was displaced from his home in Alsace. Bugatti didn't give up, however, and designed aeroplane engines, notably the somewhat baroque 16-cylinder U16, which was never built in any large number and was installed in only a very few aircraft. Between the wars, Bugatti designed a successful motorized rail car dubbed the Autorail Bugatti and won a government contract to construct an airplane, the Model 100. It was designed by Louis de Monge using two Type 50B Bugatti engines, but never flew due to the outbreak of World War II. Bugatti was doing quite well as a company between the two world wars. Things wouldn't stay the same, however, as in 1939, Bugatti's son Jean was killed at the age of 30 while testing a Bugatti Type 57 tank-bodied race car near the Molsheim factory. After that, the company's fortunes began to decline. World War II ruined the factory in Molsheim, and the company lost control of the property. During the war, Bugatti planned a new factory at Le Valois in Paris and designed a series of new cars. A big reason for Bugatti's success has to do with the company's car winning big at the Grand Prix races. A Bugatti car won the first Grand Prix, but did you know it also won the first women's Grand Prix? Hélène Delange was a popular woman race car driver and was dubbed the Bugatti Queen. She truly elevated Bugatti's fame. After Hélène set record after record on the racetrack, Bugatti sent her a message asking her to be the face of his company and to drive Bugatti's race cars. She accepted and immediately rewarded them by winning the Actors' Championship in their car. Later that year, she returned to Monterey, this time in a Bugatti 35C. She set a new land speed record for women of over 190 km per hour. Over the next couple of years, her fame extended worldwide. She took Bugatti to new heights and made it one of the best luxury race cars in the automobile industry. While Bugatti was a popular car manufacturer, there were some limitations with the brand. For one, Bugatti's concept of customer relations was somewhat eccentric. To a Bugatti owner who complained that his car was difficult to start on cold mornings, he is said to have retorted, Sir, if you can afford a Type 35, you can surely afford a heated garage. Another famous line he told to a customer complaining about the brakes in one model was, I make my cars to go, not stop. He was inducted into the Automotive Hall of Fame in 2000. 
Ettore Bugatti was a man who didn't follow in his family's footsteps and became an artist like his father and elder brother. He found his passion at a young age and pursued it right until the end. Well, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for watching.